Hey, we're about to start this tutorial real quick, but can we get 50 likes? And also, I am really trying to hit this 5k. You see that? We're not close, close, but we're pretty close. So like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, or you're going to lose your next game. Whether it's Park, Sage, Rack, pro -Am, doesn't matter. Hell, it could be Fortnite, Apex, or Warzone. I would not risk it. On to the tutorial. Yo, what's good, Lock em Up Nation? Back out here with a tutorial. Reverse behind the back, aka the Whoop D Whopper. A simple yet effective move that anyone can do, and it will make you look like a dribble guy. Look, it looks advanced, but it's super easy to do. Literally, anyone can do this. I mostly recommend this on the twos. You can do it on the threes, I'd use it on the threes, you know. But this is more of a twos move. When you're taking it back and you want to get a quick bucket. Most of the time they're not going to expect it. Obviously some of these. I did the move just to do it. But that's because I hopped on this day. For the sole purpose of getting clips using this move. Obviously I'm going to show you counters. For when they do expect it. Or maybe you did it and they're expecting it next time. And I can even show you how to combo into it. It doesn't have to just be on a take back. You can do moves to get in to the whoop de whopper aka reverse behind the back another thing i want to point out is you must have the pro one hesitation to be able to do this move at least the fast glitchy looking way other hesitations it'll work it's just going to be super slow and it it just won't work also there will be no hand cam in this video there is no need for a hand cam for this move it is two flicks of the stick while holding RT or R2, depending on what console you're on. But, that's enough of that. Let's get into the move. Alright, so let's say you got the rebound, right? You're holding LT in case he reaches, you know, you don't want to lose the ball. But, you know how to take back, right? I would really hope you know how to take back, unless you get 22 owed every single 2-on-2 two -two game that you play. Then I'm sorry to hear that. But, you should know how to take back, you know how to run back to the three-point line, right? So, you're going to run back to the three-point line, and then up, down, on the right stick. That's literally it, and you got to hold RT or R2, whatever console you're on, while you're doing it. If you heard the phone notification, my fault about that. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, remember, this is more of a twos thing when you're taking back, because they're not going to expect it. The guard's going to be like, what the hell? And... Let's say you're playing twos and you should have an outside center, right? He should be on the opposite side. The center is going to be on him because he doesn't want to give up the three. So, by the time you do this, he's just going to be like, what the hell? And by the time he gets over there, it's too late. Because most people you play against don't ISO. And I mean like the Stizo type of ISO, right? So, they're not going to know about this move. They're not going to expect it. I mean, they might know about it now because it's probably been done to them. I mean, the move has been more well-known since Steezo released it. Also, my boy Supreme BTG released it. Now, if you're still confused about this move, I'm going to link his video in the description because he actually used the hand cam. But I really don't think you need the hand cam for this. Now, if you just want to know how to do the move, that's cool. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Click on a video of mine in the description, the suggested videos, my channel, whatever. But I'm going to show you some counter moves. I'm going to show you some other ways to do this, right? So you know I'm a mountain cross, right? I really hope I don't have to explain that, right? So you can move mountain cross and then move mountain spin and do the behind the back out of that because the reason why that can be effective is you saw it in the one of the clips. You know, probably the only clip that I showed that was actually necessary to do the move. Because when you're spinning back to the three-point line, they're thinking you're going to want to shoot the three to finish the spin clip. But no, you're going to hit them with the behind the back. Now, if you don't know how momentum spin, there are plenty of momentum spin and momentum cross videos. Just look up one of those and then add that to your arsenal. That's another one that I feel like anyone can do. Now, another thing you might be thinking is... What if they're expecting it? I already did it. You know, you gave the ball up somehow and you get another rebound or whatever the case may be. So he's expecting it. And he's sitting like, I don't know, maybe he's sitting like here or something. That's normally about where they stand, like by the free throw line. So, in that case, 
You hit him with a quick bop. And Green A. Shout out to my boy Premier TV. But, yeah. However you like to set your feet when you're taking it back. I like the behind the back, you know, right stick down. That's pretty much how you do that. I know, advance. You could also do the hesitation, which I think it takes too long. That's plenty of time to close out. You can do the... Oh, wait. Can you do a crossover? I guess not. Oh, yeah, you can. You can do the crossover like that. I might try that. I don't know. But that's pretty much it. Short, to the point, pretty much. Not 10 minutes. Not going to load it up with ads. So I would appreciate a like, a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and click on one of the videos on the end screen, which you're about to be directed to now.